My dear friend in Christ, are you weighed down by many problems in life? But think about this. Sometimes the problems that we face are not as big as they really are. Here's a story about a professor of psychology. She walked into the classroom with a half-filled glass of water. And the students expected that she would ask that usual question, is the glass half full or half empty? Surprisingly, she asked, can anyone guess the weight of the water in this glass? The students guessed. And then she replied, the absolute weight of the water in this glass doesn't really matter. If I hold on to this glass for a minute, it doesn't cause me pain. If I hold on to it for an hour, my arms will begin to ache. But if I hold on to it for a whole day, my hands will begin to become numb and paralyzed. The longer I hold on to it, the heavier it will become for me. Yes, my dear friend in Christ, life's problems and anxieties have the same effect on us. The longer you choose to hold on to them, the more painful it becomes. Think of your problems for a while. and nothing disturbs your peace but think of them over and over and over again and you lose your peace my dear friend in christ jesus would often go off to solitary places early in the morning to pray and draw strength from his heavenly father to carry himself through the burdens and stresses of the day mark chapter 1 verse 35 and he also urged his disciples matthew chapter 6 verse 34 do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself my dear friend in christ prophet isaiah assures all those with worries he says he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall but those who hope in the lord will renew their strength they will soar on wings like eagles they will run and not grow weary they will walk and not be faint isaiah chapter 40 verse 29 to 31 now here's a story about a worker in a refrigeration company one night he entered a huge refrigeration container to do some routine work and the door accidentally closed leaving him trapped inside he screamed for hours in desperation inside the container he grew weak he began to feel colder using his tools he wrote on the wall of the container i am feeling colder and getting weaker i am dying and these may be my last words but my dear friend in christ early morning co-workers found him dead and you know what they said they said this man worried himself to death he could have waited for us till morning and the funny thing is the ref- refrigerating container had actually broken down 10 days earlier so my dear friend in christ stop worrying trust god start living stop worrying trust god start living Have a good and godly day.